when I left Berkeley, I went with Victor Cis Brazil to Brazil, and I spent like four months there, even learned to speak Portuguese, which I could no longer do, with, and with his family. And so I learned many lessons down there. I learned that you can be a great player and have unbelievable humility. See, I didn't know that because at Berkeley back then, and I think you guys are better than we were, Berkeley back then, the greatest players could tend to be the biggest assholes. I mean, you know, like you had approached them, they were the greatest players. You know? I, I don't get that here, but maybe you're just not showing it to me. But anyway, that's the way it was. Yeah, Still, that's the way it used to be. When I got to, for example, I'm hanging out with Ed Edgberto Dishmonti, one of the greatest musicians in the world, and we go to see this lounge piano player, and they're best friends. I didn't see that up here, or probably in America. But anyway, so we go to hear this guy play, and he plays a bossa nova. And I just to explain to them, he it has a feel like Herbie, but without all those chops, you know. He plays a bossa nova. It was like no bossa nova. I, we used to play plenty of bossa novas up here. You know, blue bossa, and da 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 you know, whatever that one is. You know? Right. Of course, those were like Berkeley tunes. Yeah. You know? Still are. Still are. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good starting place, yeah. you know. Good starting place. You want to learn 251 in A minor? It's a good place to start, you know. Yeah. <laughs> But this felt nothing like any bossa nova I played. So I go to this guy and I said, man, I never felt a bossa nova. I go, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he takes me outside. I said, okay, I'm going to tell you how to do it. Have you been to Ipanema? I said, yeah, yeah, I've been to Ipanema. He said, have you seen the girls on this trip? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went like, hmm, girl from Ipanema? Is this what you're trying to tell me? He said, have you seen the girls? I said, of course I've seen the girls. He says, did you look at their asses? I said, of course I looked at their asses. He goes like this. One. Three. One, three. One, three. You know what? From that day on, I played a boss in the day. <laughs> See, a lot of music is about, you get the actual music in different ways that are more real. There's no way you could have, he could have said to me, when you're playing funk, you play on two and four. When you're playing boss in the you play one and three. Oh, okay, one, three, right. But there's a way to play on one, three, and the way they move, the way they move, go, ah. Uh, actually, Joe Bean was explaining to you how to play a bossa nova in the song Girl from Ipanema. <laughs> Holy shit! But I mean, the way he described it, the movement, I never, I played a bossa different from the, that point on. You know? wow. And I played with a lot of Brazilian people and uh, musicians, and they like my bossa. You know, I get it. It's a physical sensation, it's a sensuality, it's not just a musical concept.